Hi all, my name is Ankush Bhatt and I welcome you to the short demo in which I'll explain you how we scan a file and a URL in API scan through Tosca. Let's switch to Tosca. Okay, so we'll go to API testing and we'll go to API scan window. Okay. So we will now see there are two options one is of file and one is of uri so we'll firstly let us see how we do it by file okay we'll just go to click on file and dialog box open up in which i'll scan one wsdl file which is of calculator so i'll just uh, open that file which is present in my desktop and click on open so it will now scan this particular file and i'll get the add, divide, multiply, subtract, all these in my one folder, all the messages in my folder of calculator. So now here I can just send the request and in turn I'll get the response. Say for example, I'll send the uh, request of this N1 and N2 addition and I'll send it, I'll get the response of it added the both the numbers and in turn i got a response this is how we do it through file say for example now uh, i'll do it i'll delete it all and now i'll do it by uri so i'll click on uri and i'll enter uri to scan so i have already one uri of same calculator only so i'll just uh, copy it here and in the advanced we can see that if we are having some authentications associated with it so we can uh, give the uh, username and password also so as of now i don't have any so i'll not provide it but if you are having uh, some username and passwords with your uh, web services so you can provide the username and password also you can do it the same for proxy if you have address username and password you can provide it here uh, so as of now i'll just go with okay so now you can see that same message got displayed in the form of add, mul divide, multiply and subtract here in the URI also. So this is how we scan a particular uh, web service, whether th that's a WSDL file or whether that's a form of uh, URI. So this is how we create it. And now if we need to create the um, say test case out of it. And so just we'll click on this calculator uh, folder and we'll click on create test case so even before that we just need that we should click uh, we should have it clicked uh, the the component folder we should have uh, the focus on it so we'll click on it and now we'll go to the api scan again and we will click on api test case and then api test case so now we'll see in the background our uh, test modules got created and also the test cases separate test cases so we don't have any um, attributes as of now we need to add them so we will add them like this just uh, click uh, just select the um, two attributes that is n1 and n2 and add them similarly for response we will get it in the add result so we will select it and add it so now we have done it for the add we'll just go to the add um, test case and we'll see the attributes got added up here so let's try some other thing five seven it should be one, uh, five and seven, 12. Okay. Now we'll try this way because the addition of that complex number was getting a uh, too big number. So now here it has verified it. Yeah, it has verified it and the verification has been successful. So this is how we uh, scan uh, make a more uh, test cases out of the API scan. Similarly, we can uh, do it for divide also by adding the attributes for multiply and subtract also, and we'll get the attributes in our test cases and we can run them, uh, run the API test cases. So this is how we scan uh, either WSDL file or an XML file or any file or through uh, URL. Thank you.